Words can't describe how hyped I was for Mario Kart 8. When Nintendo held that direct giving details of what all was gonna be in that game, I was extremely excited. I was already on board with the Wii U, but this game was the killer app next to Smash Bros to really showcase what the console can do. Unfortunately, the Wii U did not sell that well, but Mario Kart 8 was still a moderate success. The visuals, the soundtrack, and even the downloadable content. This game is easily one of the best games on the Wii U. However, for this review, I'll be looking at the re-release, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the Nintendo Switch. Just like many Wii U titles, Mario Kart 8 was one of the first games to get ported over. Now, this is not just a straight up port. Nintendo did polish the game up quite a bit, bumping the resolution up to 1080p, locking it at 60 FPS, including the Wii U DLC, and even revamping the battle mode. More of that later. I say that to say this, this is the definitive way to experience Mario Kart 8. So if you have a Nintendo Switch, grab this version. So where do we start with Mario Kart 8? Well, let's talk about the presentation. This game is easily one of the best looking games Nintendo has ever produced. I remember being absolutely blown away with how good this game looks, even on the Wii U. This game looks stunning and the same holds true for the Switch version. The lighting, the weather effects, the character models, it all looks amazing, making this hands down the best looking Mario Kart ever made. Also, the music. The music for this game is absolutely amazing. All live instrumentation and man does it work here. Nintendo really outdone themselves this time. All the modes you know and love are here. Oh, and guess what? All the characters are unlocked from the start. Thank you. Now you still have different carts and bikes and parts you can unlock, but that is done by collecting coins through various modes. No longer are certain things locked behind a CC requirement, which I'm really grateful for. You also get the DLC characters that was in the Wii U package, and to everyone's surprise, they were characters that were not originally Mario characters. We have Link, Villager, Isabelle, and the Splatoon kids, which is very interesting to me, but a welcomed addition. 200 CC though? I don't know who I did that was. Now, the courses. The courses are really colorful, great to look at, and very well designed. My standout track, Sunshine Airport. As someone who loves to travel, I love seeing the Mario characters speeding through an airport. Toad Harbor is extremely relaxing and beautiful to me, and it's a really fun place to race. Sweet, sweet canyon. I don't know if it's just me, but every time I play this stage, I think of Sugar Rush from Wreck-It Ralph. Maybe it's a coincidence, but maybe Nintendo took inspiration from that to make this course. Maybe. The retro tracks had the biggest upgrades, aesthetically and design-wise. My personal favorites like Baby Park and Neo Bowser City looks absolutely amazing. I love seeing the handheld Mario tracks get this treatment. I mean, just look at Ribbon Road, man. In terms of the DLC tracks, we get courses based on F-Zero, Zelda, and Animal Crossing, and all those tracks are really fun to play through. You even have bells and rupees for the added theme of the stage. I love that. The newest mechanic in this game is the anti-gravity driving. It looks cool, but honestly, it doesn't add that much to the gameplay. Yes, you could bump into other racers for a quick boost, but it's more or less just showcasing a different perspective of the track. All the items you come to love are here, and Deluxe brings back the double boxes from Double Dash. The only new items we have here are the Super Bell, which is really good at stopping red shells and blue shells, the boomerang flower, and also the piranha plant. All good additions to Mario Kart. While driving, you collect coins. Now the coins allows your car or bike to reach as fast as speed possible. This is an element from the Super Nintendo title that made a return. Also, you have things like tilt control and auto acceleration. This allows the game to be more accessible for newcomers. Mario Kart 8 is definitely the most polished game in the franchise so far. Now the online mode. This is where I spent most of my time in this game. The online play is super addicting and intense. I always find myself having one of those one more game moments. It's really fun. And the battle mode, man, the battle mode in the Wii U version was terrible, but Nintendo went back and fixed all of that. Each mode is super fun and just like the races, it's addicting and intense. Now, the only complaint I have about Mario Kart 8, the AI is a bit on the easier side this time around. I know, I complained about the AI in all the other Mario Kart reviews, but this time, they were a little bit too easy. I was also disappointed with this game's Rainbow Road. The whole space station aesthetic is cool, but not for a Rainbow Road stage. But the 64 remake of Rainbow Road? My goodness, that is the real superstar of the show. Overall, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is the most polished and offers the most content out of any Mario Kart title today. The online races and the battles are the heart of the game for me. I love the course design, the visuals, and everything is just great here. Mario Kart 8 can easily be considered the best Mario Kart from a technical perspective. I'm not mad at that at all. 
Is it my favorite? No, but this game is a masterpiece in the kart racing genre, and this is an essential game for anybody who owns a Nintendo Switch. With that being said, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.